Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about medical astrology and Saturn. I'm going to be talking about uh, the body parts that Saturn is uh, corresponds with in astrology and possible uh, debilitations, afflictions that can be uh, Saturn related and how it can factor in to, uh, to illness. Um, Anyway, well, the first thing, uh, as far as the body parts, Saturn corresponds with uh, Saturn rolls the knees, the bones, the joints, uh, the hamstrings, uh, skin, uh, teeth, and even chronic uh, debilitations. Uh, if somebody's got like Saturn in Gemini, uh, for example, though it's generational, uh, sometimes this could uh, indicate some issues that are very continual it could be with like the arms that are very problematic or there could be some issues with the lungs that could be connected with some chronic uh, chronic illness or debilitation as an example uh, some kind of nerve damage with the arms the hands or the fingers those are some ways this could manifest and pan out Saturn is also associated with restrictions and limitations so like somebody that has like Saturn say conjunct a planet in a chart or even if it makes an adverse aspect to the planet it may negatively affect the energy of that planet as far as yeah, issues that are associated that are health related that are connected uh, with that planet or in some cases it could it could indicate Saturn related uh, illnesses depending what 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 planet it's heading for example if you have like saying say if you have in your natal chart Saturn is uh, opposed, making an adverse aspect to your son if it's square um, or opposition or even an inconjunct. An inconjunct may be seen as neutral, but it could still uh, reflect health issues. There could be something either Saturn related that might be affecting your physical body, or it could be something where there might be some problem uh, that might be sun related, such as something with the heart or the upper back, the spine, or even the left or the right eye, depending on gender. The eye might have to work a little bit harder uh, in some cases because Saturn can be about laborious efforts. Now, uh, it's also when you're talking about Saturn, it could also be associated with depression. If somebody has, say, like Saturn in the 12th house, or it makes an adverse aspect to their natal Mercury, or even their third house cusp, there could be some indicate that could be an indicator of some kind of despondency and sadness, and it may manifest in some kind of uh, depression in terms. Of eating. Sometimes it could be a chronic, uh, you know, situation, or uh, as far as the actual uh, the mental illness uh, goes. So, anyway, now the thing is, if Saturn, yeah, if Saturn is afflicted natally. The person may have uh, some debilitations and illnesses that are connected or associated uh, with that planet. And my, for me personally, my example for me, I have Saturn uh, in Taurus conjunct my ascendant. And Saturn, uh, the fact Saturn conjunct the ascendant by itself can often limit the size and stature of a person, the person's physical uh, body. I know uh, somebody that has uh, Saturn conjunct her uh, her son in Leo, and Leo is generally a taller than average sign, and she's only like, I think like 5 feet or 4'11 or something, between 4'10 and 5 feet, so I believe that did play a role in her stature. I have Saturn on my ascendant. I'm 5'11", which is, you could say, for male round near average height. So you wonder, well, why Why am I not sure? Well, the thing about it is, if Saturn wasn't on my ascendant, maybe I would have been like 6'1", and it might have played, still played some role in my, uh, in my physical stature and size. Uh, it also can manifest in issues that are uh, that illness is connected with Saturn, the fact that it's on my ascendant, especially something with the throat or neck or thyroid issues. I actually had a herniated disc uh, in my uh, in my neck, uh, so I mean, I think this may have had something to do with that. And uh, also, Saturn on the ascendant could also limit the the energy and the vitality and sometimes the constitution of the person. Now, another thing too is uh, I have it square Venus in my chart as well. And the thing about it is you're talking about 
um, I mean, th that could be a greater propensity, I would think, for like hypothermia. The fact that, well, just the Saturn on the Ascendant alone can lower the body temperature. And you also, in the fact that it's squaring my Venus and Leo, Venus and Leo can be about uh, heart issues. When you, if somebody has hypothermia, often the heart may stop uh, operating properly and, and it could lead to heart failure. So it's something that I have to be careful of because Venus is also my chart ruler. Now, the thing about, um, another thing that I want to talk about as far as transits that involve Saturn. Now, transits that involve Saturn can, can factor in to uh, health-related issues and, and matters with the physical body that may be, uh, that could be Saturn uh, related or it could be something with another planet that it may be uh, affecting in terms of the transit. Now it's aspecting in the transit. Now one example uh, comes to mind now on December, I believe it was December 20, 1996, a renowned uh, cosmologist, uh, astronomer Carl Sagan died of uh, pneumonia. Now at that time he had transit Saturn and Aries making a loose in conjunct aspect to his natal uh, retrograde Mercury and Scorpio. Now Saturn and Aries uh, by itself could, uh, I would say, could manifest in, in, be in limitations in fighting and combating. When you have um, when you have that energy, you know, in conjuncts can often be about health related issues in astrology and debilitations. He had this making a loose in conjunct to his natal retrograde Mercury in Scorpio. Mercury can be about uh, can be connected with the lungs. Of course, pneumonia is a lung infection. Mercury is also in the sign associated with death, which is in Scorpio. He has it red had it retrograde, so that probably didn't help matters uh, for him. So I believe this may have factored into his. Uh, Untime, really untimely passing, I would say. He also had, in his, I believe in his uh, progress chart, he had Pluto uh, conjunct his ascendant at the time. And when you have uh, an, an, an progression or a transit, uh, this sometimes could manifest in, uh, in an actual death because you remember that Pluto uh, is the planet associated with death and the ascendant is uh, connected with the physical body. I've seen it seems like a number of people seem to pass sadly when they have either the Pluto on the ascendant in progression or, or their sun in progression or either or um, or even in transit when transit Pluto is hitting one sun or even vice versa because again Pluto can be about death uh, destruction, obliteration. The sun is about life, and the ascendant is the physical body. So anyway, now also too uh, something to keep in mind is that progressions in a chart that involve Saturn can uh, sometimes manifest in health, physical related issues either associated with Saturn or it could be the planet that it's aspecting in the progressed chart. Now let's say, for example, somebody has a Saturn making an adverse aspect to their Sun in their progressed chart. Uh, I mean, this could manifest in a multitude of ways. This could be about difficulty with Saturn-related uh, body parts. It could be, you know, somebody might have issues with the knees, the bones, the hamstrings, the joint, the joints, the teeth, the skin. It could be some. In some cases, it may even be some chronic debilitation associated with the sign that Saturn uh, is in. I uh, mean, if it's in, say it's in uh, Aquarius, for example, it could be some issue that could be very continual. That could be with the circulation system or something with the shins or the ankles or, or, or calves in some cases. It might be some nerve damage that the person may be uh, going through. Uh, it could also, uh, I mean, and, and another, and again, it's, uh, it's that example again with the Saturn making the adverse aspect of Sun in one's progressed chart could also be issues that could be associated with the Sun as well. Uh, it could be about something with the spine, uh, the upper back, the heart in some cases, uh, anything, or it could even be uh, something, I mean, the Sun could also be 
associated with the left or the right eye depending on gender. Saturn, it can be about laborious effort and hard labor. It could be about one of the eyes might be having a strain or work a little bit harder, or even the heart might have to be working a little bit harder in order for it to be operating. Uh, so really that's pretty much uh, what I wanted to get at as far as medical astrology and Saturn goes. This is Edwin Lerner. Until next time, people, stay well.